Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve practice problem 4.3 from his book and the question is for the circuit of figure 4.8 determine the nodal voltage V1 V1 is this one if A is 2I1 and 2V1 Okay, let's start by replacing A here by 2I1 first Okay, let's assume the direction of the current this is going up and I think this will going down, this is going there, and this is going up. Okay, let's start by using KCL at node V1. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out, right? There is only one current that goes in, which is that 5. Ampere. So I'll have 5 and then that will equal to this current here that will be V1 minus V2 divided by 1 and then another current here is V1 minus 0 divided by 2. So I will have V1 divided by 2 and I think that's all for the node V1. Let's multiply both sides by 2 so we will get rid of the denominator so i will have 10 that will equal to 2v1 minus 2v2 and then plus v1 okay so i will have 3v1 minus 2v2 that will equal to 10. maybe let's save this as equation number one Okay, now let's do another KCL, but this time at node V2. So let's do KCL at node V2. Okay, so I'll have the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. There are two currents that goes in, which is this, which is I1, and then this one, which is 2I1. So I will have I1 plus 2i1 and that will equal to this current here that goes out but this current here is v2 minus 0 divided by 2 so i'll have v2 divided by 2 okay and on the left hand side i will have 3i1 is equal to v2 divided by 2 or maybe let's multiply both sides by 2 so i will have 6i1 on the left side and v2 on the side but then i1 is v1 minus v2 divided by 1 so i will have 6 v1 minus v2 divided by 1 and that will equal to v2 or if we simplify this equation we will have 6 v1 minus 6 v2 but minus v2 again so you have 7 and that will equal to zero and this is equation number two okay we have two equation with two variables maybe let's use calculator to solve this let's set it up as equation solver which is number five two variables is number one and then let's input the coefficients so i'll have three minus two and then ten for the first equation and then for the second one, I will need to input 6 and then minus 7 and then 0. So I will have the value of V1 is 70 over 9. So I have V1 is equal to 70 over 9. And we know the value of V2, but that is not as by the value. So I I just leave it as it so the unit here is four. This is for question A. Okay, now let's move on to question B, which we replace this 2i1 with 2v1, which is exactly what we do here. Okay, let's assume the direction of the current here. Let's assume this going up and this is going to the right and this is going down. Let's do KCL at V1. This is, I think this is exactly the same as before. So I'll have 
the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The only current that goes in is this 5 ampere. So I'll have 5. Okay, don't use green. I think I need to use black. So I'll have 5. And then that will equal to this one here, V1 minus V2 divided by 1. And then plus V1 divided by 2. So V1 divided by 2. Let's multiply both sides by 2. So we will have 10 on the left hand side. And for this one, I will have 2V1 minus 2V2. And then plus V1. So we will have 3V1 minus 2V2 is equal to 10. And this is the equation number 1. Okay, now let's do KCL at V2. So this is going up. Let's just write that KCL at V2. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. There are two currents that goes in here, which is this one. So I will have 2V1 here. And then plus this current here, which is V1 minus V2 divided by 1. And then this current here is just V2 over 2. V2 over 2. Okay, maybe let's multiply both sides by 2. So the all the denominator cancel out. So I will have 4V1 plus 2V1 minus 2 v2 and then that will equal to v2 and this will become 6 v1 and this will become minus 3 v2 that will equal to 0 let's save this as equation number 2 and again we have two equation and two variable let's just use calculator Okay, let's set it up and equation solver is number 5 and two variables is number 1 and let's plug that in 3 minus 2 and then 10 then the second equation is 6 minus 3 and then 0 so we will have p1 here is minus 10 so V1 here is equal to minus 10. And the unit is volt. And that is exactly the one that is given by the problem. And that's all for practice problem 4.3. The answer for A is 70 over 9. And the answer for B is minus 10 volt. Okay, that's all. Let me know if you found any mistakes in my calculation. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.